In this video, we're going to look at some epidemiology, being the study of the spread and control of disease. We're going to look at how we can assess the severity of a disease, uh, the ways in which a disease can spread, as well as some terms to classify an outbreak. So firstly, the severity of a disease, and we look at two major factors when working out how severe a disease is. Firstly, is the effectiveness, so how hard it is for somebody to catch the disease, so how quickly it will move through the population. And the next is the virulence, or how much damage it will do to the body of the person that it's infected with. So there's some diseases that have a very high virulence, so they cause a lot of damage, but low effectiveness, so it's quite hard to catch them. While other diseases are very infective, uh, but the virulence, the amount of damage they do to the body, is low. So we need to assess both of these things to work out how severe a disease is and how we're going to deal with it. Now the spread of disease from host to host can occur either directly through direct contact from one infected person to another, and this can be a touch, or it can be contact with body fluids, such as water droplets in sneezing, or blood to blood contact. Or a disease can be spread through indirect transmission. So indirect transmission is where there's some sort of vector or intermediary between the two hosts. So this could be contaminated air, contaminated water in the uh, case of Giardia and Cryptosporidium, uh, or an animal that carries that disease but is not affected by it. For example, the mosquito that carries malaria. We're now going to look at a few words that we can use to classify an outbreak of disease. Now the first and the lowest level is endemic, and that's a disease that regularly affects a small number of people in a particular area. So, for example, malaria is a disease that is endemic to a number of tropical countries. So people in those countries, or a small number of people in those countries, catch malaria each year. An epidemic is an increase in that normal number. So when a, the numbers become more than usual, we call this an epidemic. Uh, so for example, when influenza or gastroenteritis uh, goes through the boarding houses, this is, would be considered an epidemic, higher than normal numbers. And now with an epidemic, it's a very localized thing. So it's a particular disease in a particular place. So it's on a small scale. It's classified as an outbreak if this disease gets out of control within the community and starts spreading from this small place into other places. Once a disease gets to the level of pandemic, the outbreak has gone global and in particular has crossed continental borders, so moved from one continent to another and puts everybody in the world at risk. So pandemic is the highest level of outbreak that we can have for a disease. And when that occurs, it's a big deal throughout the whole world. In this video on epidemiology, we've looked at assessing the severity of a disease through the infectiveness and the virulence. We've looked at how diseases can spread either directly from person to person or indirectly through some sort of intermediary or vector. And we've looked at how to classify an outbreak from an endemic, something that occurs to a small number of people uh, each year, through epidemic, outbreak, and pandemic affecting people on a global scale.